He has to go into the tub to drink water. He can't drink water out of his own water. He has to go into the tub to drink water. Can we help you? Whew. Good morning, folks. It's a crisp 27 degrees outside. We're in Palmdale right now, and it's like 7 some something. <sighs> we're going to get ready, and we're going to go and have some fun. We're going to go and we we'll get some breakfast first. Okay, so I'm, I'm out the shower. And while I was in there, I was kind of thinking, what what's motivating me doing these vlogs? And I consider these vlogs kind of like a diary. I can look back and see what I did. See who I was personality-wise. This is kind of just to document it. And eventually my kids will look back on it and want to know what kind of father that they had when they're young that they weren't really so cognizant of what was going on around them personalities picking it up and those traits they can actually look back and go wow my dad was a very bad person or a very good person but they don't have to use the words that they hear out of me saying oh I was a good person or the words out of some other people saying oh he's good or bad they can see for it themselves um, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. I'm not just doing it for me and my family generally, you know, but mainly for my kids. And see what kind of life I have. And we can all reflect back on it. So, uh, I'm gonna get ready and go and get some breakfast. And another thing before I, before we head out to breakfast, I was thinking, it's like, <laughs> well, okay, we, I broke the bed. I broke it, I'll show you, I'll show you. Yeah, the, uh, the frame that kind of connects the bed to, uh, kind of holds up the mattress on the frame. I guess like a, like this is the side of the bed and kind of brings out like that, that snapped off. And that kind of, maybe, I mean, I mean, six foot two, but kind of made me realize I'm probably a little, I'm not probably, I'm overweight for my height. I'm not terribly fat, but I am overweight, so I'm actually going to start doing a diet. Um, I've already cut out sugars, which, um, majority of sugars, sugars that are in the food that I actually eat, I can't really stop, like pasta sauce and stuff like that actually has sugar in it, but adding sugar, so sugar to my coffee I don't add anymore. In fact, I got a sugar-free creamer that I, uh, that I use. Um, I don't eat any cookies anymore, any candies anymore. Uh, sugar's very b bad. If you look at uh, the effects it has on your blood vessels, it um, it helps um, attach the fats to your 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 uh, inside of the walls of your ves uh, blood vessels, which then can eventually cause blockage, or if they break off and go to the brain, can cause a stroke. So, I'm going to cut out sugars. And on top of that, I'm going to start eating healthier. In fact, I'm going to be walking more to kind of, especially after meals, they always say to walk after you eat. So I'm going to be doing that too. So hopefully along with, you know, my kids seeing my personality change and see what kind of person I'm going to lose weight and you guys can see the changes as well. Gotta drop off these lamps.
So right now we're in beautiful Wrightwood and we're looking for snow. So far, we've been unsuccessful. Nowhere to be found. And that's not music I put into the uh, the video, it's actually just music coming from speaker back there. Even though it added dram uh, drama to the uh, the video. But, you know. What do you think of this place so far, baby? I like it, it's really chill. Really chill. <laughs> it's pretty relaxing. Okay, on to our search for more snow. Okay, after enjoying our wonderful time in right, Wrightwood? Wrightwood. Wrightwood. Now we're gonna go back on the search for snow. I don't think we'll find it, but we'll find out. <laughs> and we found snow. There you have it. Yep, all natural man-made snow. See, no matter what, if you want snow, you make snow. So, now we're fixing the bed that I broke. So here we are. So we got that long piece of wood here. And we're gonna replace this piece of wood with this long piece of wood. Now we're fi trying to find a screw that is long enough to do so. That barely makes it in there. So that's what we're gonna be doing. But so far since I've been home, well, back at Anna's parents' house, her dad and I have fixed this outside. That new spotlight that lights up the backyard. It needs more cowbell. <laughs> Upstairs. And we took down the old shower curtain rod and now we have to drill in another one right there which we've got two holes. But the drill died. So the drill battery is charging while we're trying to figure out if we can find any larger screws. So we can fix the bed. So that's where we're at. Yay. <laughs> 